We bout to play 2K Brutal Sim, Step Back J Kobe got that clutch, throw it up That's game, I'm going through the lane Russell Westbrook, quickness Kyrie It's your boy You don't know Brutal Sim on the scene Wicked and mean with a next video for y'all man so i'm just showing y'all what i'm working with right now man i did a little update on my strategy that i recently uploaded for y'all man and you know how it is man i'm not there like most of you know almost everyone that grinding and like they're competing against each other to get to that max trip i'm just grinding personally for myself so i could afford to share my strategy with y'all man all right so I did a little update on the previous strategy I was using. Of course, y'all know I like to run that pick and roll lob a lot. Now I added a little something to the fray. Now I can't remember who to give the shout out, man. But someone, one of my subs, one of my followers was in the chat. And they, rec they actually recommended me adding this to my strategy. And as you see in the background now, this clip coming up here is actually from my live stream, which I do st um, stream on Twitch, my method. So y'all could come there and we could have a conversation. This is actually where I learned it. This is actually where I learned, as I said before, to add this because we always conversate about what's the best method and if I should try something, I do try, mix it up. Even though the previous version was getting me to a 90 and sometime 100K, this new method works so much better right so let's get to what i'm doing right now um to really get all this this rep in my career right now now let's start from the pick and roll the base of everything i'm doing this helps racks up most of the points in my in my career right now there is something that you could look out for man i'm telling you all this because a lot of people was hitting me up telling me they still don't understand how i run the pick and roll although i know it might work for a lot of people it's still not working for a lot right so i'm gonna try to cover it off and just break it down for y'all man you know that's what it's about y'all hit me up i try to help you all out now there are two things i look for when running this pick and roll as you notice you notice the area that i'm running the pick and roll right it's either the top right or the top left simple 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 not rocket science but one thing i want you all to keep your eyes on is the corners is there anyone in the corners or is the corners or is the corner empty right now there's a simple reason for this i know this while running this play hundreds of time y'all if you're in the stream y'all gonna understand hundreds of time I know this if there's someone in the corner when i'm running the screen the likelihood of help defense coming from the opposite side to disturb the lob is really small now if there is no one in the corner while i'm running the pick and roll i'm talking about the same corner that i'm running the pick and roll on the same side if there is no one in the corner the likelihood of someone coming on playing health defense is a lot higher. Now it's not a hundred percent, but it is a lot higher. And when the health defense comes, this is when I would choose to dunk the ball in most cases. Now it's that simple. Now there's something else you need to look at when you're in the pick and roll as well. Where is the defender that is going to help off the pick and roll? Now if the defender stays way back, right? If the defender stays um, way back, you gotta run, run the defensive player into, right? I'm talking about the defensive player on the ball into the screen and you gotta dribble into the, the back defender, pulling the defender out of the way, which will allow and give some space for you to lob the ball for the receiver. Very simple, very simple. Um, as I said, not difficult once you keep trying it over and over now on the perfect situation the defender will actually step up high will step up a little too high for um when you call for the screen that will allow you to run an easy pick and roll right so hopefully that will break it down enough for y'all man if you didn't hear me go over the video again just click back a little bit and you are gonna get a full breakdown now i'm gonna highlight the part i added to it that gives me this 100k 
every time pretty much every time i really execute and really focus on of course there are some teams that you just can't do it to for me personally it's the spurs and one of the teams i get a lot of um trouble with because they literally plays a much better defensive scheme than most of the teams and um depending if i got a pure lockdown on me man but what i like to do is whenever i hit that takeover that team takeover what I do, and this is a simple metric, man. I, 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 like, I'm really surprised I didn't know this. Like, I didn't even think about this. What I do, right? And I'm blessed. I'm blessed. One, I got to put a little, you know, a little thing out there. You might need a good point guard or a decent point guard at least. Someone with um, over 70 in passing, right? Accuracy. No, I'm blessed with CP3. I'm blessed, I'm blessed with Chris Paul. But that's not the only person I do it with. So whenever I hit that takeover badge, I like to switch and take over and control CP3, call me for a screen. And it's very simple. If you all didn't know how to call for screens um, with specific players, it's quick tap L1, quick tap L1 and press and hold the icon of the player you want to come and set the screen. Now, if you want to switch the direction of the screen, all you got to do is press down the left stick let's press down l3 and you will switch the screen whether it's from left to right or right to left man it's that simple now the same thing i'm doing to run the pick and rolls when i'm me and my character is the same thing i'm gonna do when i'm controlling cp3 the only thing i'm doing is running it with me being the receiver and that's it it's gonna take up it's gonna carry up your uh, posterizer points it's gonna carry up your lob city finisher points um your lob finisher points it's gonna carry up um what else does your screen and finishing successes all these will eventually pile up to take you over the hump man now that's what i had for y'all man now hopefully this helped you all out now i'm gonna go over the points one more time for y'all man now, of course i'm going at it over the dome man off, off of my dome so um let's get to it now the first thing is you gotta remember the base of it is the pick and roll man and it's very very important for you to execute the pick and roll and run the defensive player into the screens it's very very important because these points do pile up right now the next thing you definitely need to look out for is the corners if someone is in the corner the likelihood of help defense coming is not that good right they might come now and then but most likely help defense will not be coming now if no one is in the corner of the direct of the side that you decide to run that pick and roll in if no one is there the likelihood of help defense coming is pretty high now this might help with the slasher bills and you want to get some bodies man because they are going to be closing in a little late so that might help you out now the next thing you got to look out for is if the defender the help defender in the pick and roll plays high or low now if he plays high it's the perfect situation you ain't got to think about it just run to the pick and roll and throw the lob easy money but if the defender plays low now you gotta run the defender into the pick and roll and then you gotta dribble into the back the defender into the help defender into the back you gotta dribble into him to pull him to clear up some space so you will be able to throw that lob very simple very effective right now the last part is what i like to call the switch a rule that's whenever you hit that team takeover badge and believe me if you run a bunch of these pick and rolls if especially if you're a playmaker and running these you are gonna get that badge filled out so fast it's crazy now it's the switch a rule as soon as the badge flips out grab your point guard run the pick and roll use yourself as the receiver and the same tactics apply the same tactics that you used before to rack up all these points apply same thing look at the corners of course look at the defender the help defender if he's high it's simple if he's low you gotta dribble into him and just keep throwing these lobs man all right so y'all know how it is man hopefully this video help y'all out don't forget man if you're first time to your boy's channel man make sure y'all like the video share the video 
and hit your boy a subscribe for more tips tricks tutorials and the whole nine man and don't forget y'all I'm, I'm actually streaming on twitch man i'm trying to grow this twitch thing man come over support your boy um if the video help y'all out if y'all getting a little trouble with it if y'all getting any trouble with it come through y'all could actually chat with me live there we could communicate we could actually figure out how to make your life a lot more easier man that's what it's about right now as i said i got none to hide i'm not racing anyone to get no max rep or none of that i'm just it's just a personal goal for me to get these mascots from all right so that's what it's about me helping out um y'all coming through we talk about we figure out some stuff and that's how i came about with this tactic but anyways man your boy sim y'all know how it is one love respect bless up